الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأهل بيته وأحبته عليا أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه اللهم كن لوليك الحجة بن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا واجعلنا اللهم من أنصاره وأعوانه والمستشهدين بين يديه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المذنبة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أجعلتم سقاية الحاج وعمارة المسجد الحرام كمن آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وجاهد في سبيل الله لا يستوون عند الله والله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين صدق الله العلي العظيم The pilgrims, the Hujjaj, have alhamdulillah concluded their Hajj to the house of Allah. But this year, the Hajj was marked by tragic events. The Hajj ended on the day of Eid, Eid al-Adha, with sadness, with the loss of the life of many innocent, hundreds of pilgrims, innocent people who had concluded their amal on that day, or some of them were on the way to the Jamarat during the unfortunate stampede that is also suspicious, looks suspicious and mysterious. And still the details are not apparent or not very clear until this moment. Even the number of the casualties is not very clear until this moment. Due to the, I would say the least thing is the negligence and the disorganization and the mismanagement of the authorities there. I, I witnessed that firsthand for more than 20 years. How at the airport you are received very well and we have to speak the truth, whether it's Jeddah or Medina, but then in the Masha'ar, especially Arafat, Muzdalifa, and Mina, people are considered a herd of sheep, no more than that. This is the way they are treated by the authorities there. Do you know that since 1990, since 1990, only in the Mash'ar of Mina, only in the area of Mina, 3,500 Hujjaj have lost their life. 3,500 of the pilgrims from 1990 until recently, they lost their life. 
And even this figure which was published, declared by the authorities that they are, the casualties are 700, is not a real figure. The figure is much bigger than that. So this is mismanagement. The Saudis, they received many calls from many countries that let's help you in organizing the Hajj, the A'mal of the Hajj, especially in Mina, in, in Muzdalafa, in Arafat. But they reject and they insist that they are the only, the only authority, the only power who has the right, an inherent right by God has given to them to organize the Hajj. And yet, this is their mismanagement. They don't learn from their experiences. And what makes the tragedy worse is that they always put the blame on others. Never ever the Saudis, they said, this is our problem. This is our mistake, we admit. Never ever. They are infallible, ma'soom, alhamdulillah. The royal family is very infallible, ma'soom. And always they put the blame. This year they put it on Iranian hujjaj, African hujjaj, few years ago on the Indian Hujjaj, before that on the Nigerian Hujjaj, before that I remember back in the 1980s they put the blame on the Yemeni Hujjaj, but Alhamdulillah the Saudi regime is perfect, is very well organized, and they do not accept the responsibility. This has to change. Mecca and Medina belongs to all the Muslims worldwide. It's not part of Saudi Arabia. It's not a private property of Al Saud. This is not their private property. Mecca and Medina, Hijaz, the region of Hijaz, belongs to all Muslims worldwide. So we need an international body of Muslims to run, administer, and manage the Sha'iratul Hajj and the Umrah too, to stop these atrocities and these tragic events that are taking place almost every year, almost every year. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant the shuhada, inshallah, the his, his maghfirah, and this is in the Quran, inshallah, they are immediately to paradise, وَمَنْ يَخْرُجْ مِنْ بَيْتِهِ مُهَاجِرًا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ ثُمَّ يُدْرِكْهُ الْمَوْتِ فَقَدْ وَقَعَ أَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ Whoever leaves his house heading muhajir in his trip to Umrah or Hajj going to perform these rites and then he dies in the process on the way he or she would die فَقَدْ وَقَعَ أَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ What does that mean? Have you seen when you go to a restaurant, to a cafe, and someone says, it's on me, you don't pay, it's on me. Allah says, it's on me. It's on me, I'll pay for you. If you have sins, I will forgive them. Leave it on me. Your trip is on me, you are my guest. And of course, if Allah pays, and Allah is very generous when he pays, then the trip will be immediately, the journey will be immediately to him, back to him, to his paradise. But it is very painful that many people were waiting from Iran, Pakistan, Egypt, other countries, African people, their families, their spouses, their children were waiting for the parents to come back safe after performing the Hajj. You know, the Africans, they save the money. I've seen many of them. His entire life, he spends 50, 60 years saving money, adding these pennies until he can afford going to Hajj. And unfortunately, this is what they receive by the authorities who consider themselves the guardians, custodians of Haramain al-Sharifin. Custodians. Of course, when the custodian, his focus is on bombing Yemen, creating fitna in Syria, in Lebanon, in Iraq, spreading Wahhabism and barbarism and takfirism, of course he has no more time left to focus on the Hajj, to take care of the Hajjaj. Because the priority now is to destroy the Muslims worldwide. 
to kill the innocents in Yemen, women and children. So there is no more time to organize the Hajj. This is the result. But Allah says, Inna rabbaka labil mirsat. And I am sure my friends, my brothers and sisters, the days of our Saud are numbered, inshallah. Their days are numbered. Their days are numbered and you will see, inshallah, you will witness with your families during these coming months and years how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take revenge, will take revenge for hundreds of thousands, rather millions, millions of innocent people who were butchered and killed by the money, the weapon which was sent by this corrupt regime, corrupt regime. Today, Saudi Arabia is building alliance with Israel. The strongest allies of Saudi Arabia in the whole world is the state of Israel. And this is, subhanAllah, aqibatu su. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he wants to, he, 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 he writes damnation for someone, he makes the end of his journey bad and terrible. And this is what we see happening to them. And they deserve it because Allah gave them many chances to fix themselves, but they reject it because they have no faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma aghfir lil mu'minin wal mu'minat wal muslimin wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat tabi' Allahumma baynana wa baynahum bil khayrat innaka mujibu al-da'wat innaka ghafiru al-khati'at innaka ma'hi al-sayyat wa ja'iluha hasanat Allahumma ansur al-islam wal muslimin Allahumma wahid kalimat al-muslimin wal mu'minin على الخير والبر والصلاح والتقوى يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ثبتنا على ولاية أمير المؤمنين اللهم لا تخرجنا من الدنيا حتى ترضى عنا اللهم انصر إخواننا المسلمين في سوريا ولبنان وفي اليمن وفي سائر بلاد الإسلام اللهم عجل في فرج سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا وقائدنا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء and also to the soul of those hujjaj who passed away in Mina for their souls. Tawabul Fatiha ma'as salati ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad.